Hey, this is Terra Toots with a quick tutorial on adding a second planet to a scene in TerraGen 4. One of the cool features of TerraGen is that you can create and work with multiple planets in a single scene. Whether that's adding a realistic moon to a landscape or creating something more sci-fi, the basic concept is straightforward. We'll start out with the default scene and move our camera a bit to get a better view of the sky. Then go to the Objects tab, click Add Object, Object, Planet. This will add a second planet. Notice that by default the new planet is placed below the horizon. And if we check the left panel, we can see that it's positioned very far away. First off, let's move our new planet a bit. Like any object, you can either do this by using the arrows in the 3D preview, or by directly typing numbers into the center position fields. There's also the option to position it by heading and elevation, much like the sun in the lighting settings. The default distance and size are pretty good starting points for an Earth moon, but let's try for something a little less realistic. We'll bring the planet closer and make it larger. One interesting thing to notice is that our new planet is lit by the same sun as the rest of the scene. That means we can change how much of the new planet is lit by simply moving the sun. Let's turn on the ray traced preview and adjust the sun heading so that it illuminates just about half of the sphere. We'll also bring the elevation down a bit. To make things more interesting, we'll throw a quick image map onto the surface shader of our new planet. Select the planet, Go to Surface Shader, Create New Shader, Image Map, and I'll select this image of Jupiter. Now we'll go to the Image Shader, change the projection to Spherical, and copy the center of the planet to the shader location. Now if we enable shaders in the Ray Traced Preview, we can see that our planet has some stripes. Finally, let's clear our atmosphere a little bit to get a better look at our creation. Come over to the Atmosphere tab and cut the Haze density to 0.1 and the Blue Sky density to 1.5. We'll also reduce the Haze height to 800 and the Blue Sky height to 3000. With that, we're ready to render and we should end up with a massive gas giant looming over our landscape. You can take this as far as you'd like, and just about anything you can do to your first planet can also be done to the second. One important thing to know is that the main user interface only applies to the first planet. If you'd like to add more advanced features to a second planet, you'll need to edit its node network directly by selecting your planet in the objects list, clicking this small gear button, and choosing edit internal network. Then you can work directly in the second planet's network. We'll cover the node network in more detail in future videos.